Kia ora and welcome to Between Sea and Sky. I am Nadia. And I'm Tangi. And today we wanted to take you on a tour about our yacht in Shannon. Al Francis Hedershoff, son of the legendary yacht designer Nathaniel Hedershoff, designed the first H-28 in 1942. Our hull has been built by Compass Yachts here in New Zealand and the rest of the boat has been finished in 1987 by the craft boat builder Fred Bloom. The first version of the H-28 was wooden, but ours is fiberglass. The original Hedershoff design was a kitsch rigging. Most of the NZH-28s are sloops, but Nshana is a cutter. 150 watt solar panel is what we use to generate our power. Recently installed a manual windlass which has made anchoring so much easier. The 9 meter step mast is made from aluminium. With only one pair of spreaders and two stays, the four stay on the basket and the inner stay on the deck. Welcome inside our tiny home Mshana. On the port side, we have our L-shaped galley, fully equipped with twin sinks, a two-burner gas cooker and oven, which hangs on a gimbal, making cooking easier when at sea. This is the controller for our solar panel. It's a 20 amps MPPT. Here we have the dashboard panel for the engine. Below that is our sweet little radio. The seat deck unit is what we use to charge the batteries when we have shore power. Our latest addition is the projector 900 watt inverter, which runs our fridge and various electronic equipment. For communication, we have this VHF radio with an AAS and GPS. It allows other ships to detect us in a range of 20 nautical miles, and it gives us the ability to locate and communicate with other surrounding vessels. This display allows you to set a collision perimeter alarm, which is ended during nighttime watch. Our switchboard has controls for the entire 12 volt electronic system, which is our water pump, USB charger, cabin lights, instruments like the depth sounder, VHF, AIS, autopilot, and navigational lights. The first aid kit is easily accessible when you're in the cockpit or in the cabin. We have a second VHF radio, and its aerial is on top of the mast. The AIS has its own aerial at the stern. We can easily switch between aerials in case of any malfunctioning. This battery bank has two batteries. The first is 130 amp hour battery for the house and the second battery is for starting the engine. Shana is powered by a Book D18 engine, which is a monocylinder producing 10 horsepower. The fuel capacity is 50 liters. These switches here run to the alternator which powers the batteries. This is our cozy saloon. Here is our EPUB, an essential piece of safety equipment. When triggered in the case of an emergency, it will send out your exact location via satellite. In 
the L shape of the seating area, we have our two water tanks with a capacity to hold 120 litres. The dining table can drop down to create a double bed. This half hull of the H28 was gifted to Tangi when he lived in Auckland. On the starboard side we have the barometer and inclinometer. In this part of the cabin we have the closet, toilet and half bed. The wooden door at the end of the bed is where the chain locker is located. Originally the boat was called Try Again. It was renamed by its first owner, who was Kenyan, and thought that the Swahili word for daylight, Mshana, was more apt. We hope that you've enjoyed our house tour. Be sure to hit the like button and to subscribe to our channel. Next week, we set sail for the stunning Abel Tasman National Park. Thank you.